after years of waiting for the third installment of the Deadpool series. Finally, the movie is going to be released on 3 May 2024, with a gap of four years. This movie is going to bring a lot with it. So without wasting any time, let's talk about the all details that you should know before watching Deadpool 3 so far. So the movie is going to bring X-Men into the Marvel Cinematic Universe finally because of this. We can also expect the return of Patrick Stewart's Professor X after his return in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. But we will also have to keep this as in mind that this is going to be a variant of Professor X and not the real one, which we saw in the X-Men movies. Now let's talk about the title of the movie, which I don't think is going to be Deadpool 3, as it is the first official entry of him in the MCU. They could choose a very creative title like Wolverine and Deadpool, and I can't say for sure, but he mentioned this in one of his tweeted videos. Ryan Reynolds getting a nomination in the best song category would make the next year of my life insufferable. It would. I mean, I have to spend the year with him shooting Wolverine and Deadpool. And we also see a tweet of Ryan Reynolds. So now we can only guess that this can be the title of the movie. Now, let's get to the main point of the movie, which is its plot. Although it has been a mystery and nobody can even guess what's coming, there are certain things that we have, so let's talk about them first. This one is pretty obvious, and almost everybody knows it, and that is the return of Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, which is going to be set before the death of Logan in this movie, which has been confirmed by Wolverine himself, which directly connects us to Time Variance Authority introduced in Loki and those of you who haven't watched Loki, Although you should, it is a great series. But if you haven't, then this is an authority who keeps a track on timelines and doesn't let the alternate timelines to be created so that it doesn't become a mess. Now, the X-Men Origins Wolverine movies team is going to be back in this movie, but especially Deadpool and Wolverine are gonna work as a team, and they have made it clear that they hate each other. Now, if you have watched Deadpool 2, then you would know that there was a team in it named X-Force, which didn't have a happy ending. Ryan Reynolds tweeted this out on his Twitter, which means that X-Force will get a return in the Deadpool 3, but Domino's actress named Zazy Beat said that she would not. Return for his role in the Deadpool franchise. Okay. I'm not okay. the okay. werewolf. Okay. I okay. promise you okay. I am not okay. the werewolf. The cab driver of the previous Deadpool movie named Coran Sony, who played Dopender, is returning with Leslie Uggams, Emma Corrin, and Matthew McFadden. Special return of the cast includes Morena Baccarin and Stefan Kapitik, who are reprising their roles as Vanessa and Colossus in Deadpool 3, and the other mutants including Rob Delaney, Brianna Hildebrand, and Shioli Kutsuna are returning. The director of this movie is going to be Sean Levy, who is now popularly known for his work in the Stranger Things series. This movie is going to be Sean Levy and Ryan Reynolds' third pair of the movie, because they have recently worked in The Free Guy, which was also good, and they also worked in The Amazing Time, traveling movie named The Atom Project. The writers of this movie is going to be Wendy Molino and Lizzie Molino, Logolin, who are also popular for their animated series Bob's Burgers, but the writers for the first two Deadpool films, Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, are also contributing to the third film screenplay, which is also being helped by Ryan Reynolds too. So what are your thoughts about how the movie is going to end up? Don't forget to tell me in the comments section. But in my personal opinion, I am excited about the movie. Let's see what it provides until then. You can share more details about the movie if you have any, and if you like the video then. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to never miss an update, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. To watch my previous breakdown of Secret Invasion Episode 1, click here and click here to subscribe.